Ultimate segment cars at McLaren should have a very clearly defined identity. And the identity of the P1 comes from a singular concept to develop the ultimate driver's car on road and track. All McLarens are about the driving experience and with a car like P1 that's especially crucial. What we wanted to do was broaden the driving experience on the road. So with the introduction of E-Mode, we have an enormous spectrum from silent city driving all the way through in track mode to the most visceral, exciting driving experience we could possibly conceive. Of course, the fundamental idea of a car that was uncompromised on the road and equally uncompromising on the racetrack means that we have to transform the car from a road car to a track car, which means some very significant changes to the suspension. The car lowers by 55 millimeters. The ride frequency doubles. The roll stiffness increases by 350%. In order to maintain extremely accurate body control, and maintain the aerodynamic platform close to the racetrack. The first time we ever drove the car in anger on a racetrack was Castelloli in Spain, which is inside a deep gorge. My recollection is hearing the car for the first time with the noise reverberating off the cliff walls, seeing the blue flames shooting out of the exhaust under braking and seeing the discs glowing red hot and my spine tingling as I watched it and heard it for the first time. I can't believe it's five years since we developed this car, but it's great to be reacquainted with its special personality, and it's humbling to see the way people appreciate the car and the qualities that we tried to instill in it five years ago.